Wait, brothers and sisters, let me get this right. I was talking to Papa Roca here, and I want to say this in the best simple term and English. The prophetic in this generation is tricks. But my husband has another word. He's, baby, you said it is? The, the, pathetic. Pathetic. It's not prophetic, it's pathetic. It's full of rubbish, nonsense and tricks. The prophetic in our generation right now is for a man to perform it. It is not for the Holy Spirit to perform. It is for the man to perform it. The men do not allow the Holy Spirit to work. They perform the miracles self. That is the prophetic of our generation. I want people to wake up and realize something, my brothers and sisters. Many men and women of God who do prophetic things is for one reason. To have power over you and control. And to show you that they really have Jesus. And if you are a fool that is not seeking God by yourself in spirit and in truth, you are going to be enticed by every prophetic trick that you see out here. The problem with the prophetic in this generation is that it's not even prophetic anymore. It is tricks. It is men showing that they have power. It is men showing off that they can see. Because even the things that the Holy Spirit shows you, it's not everything you are supposed to talk or reveal. God also wants confidence. People, he can tell things to make a change. People, he can tell things to make a difference. But people, he can tell things that can also learn and grow from them. Like the people in the past, we learn a lot of things from them. The problem with this generation, it's like men of God. You are sophisticated on making sure that the whole entire church is submissive to you but nobody goes to church for their past nobody has a personal relationship with their past we go to church because of god you build a personal relationship with god so if you are disturbed as a man of god by somebody's noise or sound the holy spirit is not disturbed the holy spirit is not disturbed you, me as a woman of God being angry does not equate to the Holy Spirit being angry. Me as a woman of God being upset about something does not equate to God being upset. Me as a woman of God being irritated by a sound in the church does not equate to the Holy Spirit being disturbed. It actually lets me know I need to get more deeper and closer to God because if you really have God in you, nobody should disturb you when you are in praise. Nobody should offend you when you're in praise and worship. Only when they grieve the Holy Spirit. And to grieve the Holy Spirit is not a manly thing that, oh, a man can, he, he, has, 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 has made a, a, the Holy Spirit grieved. All of them. A man can command the Holy Spirit to be grieved. No. Order, my brothers and sisters. And this is why church is no longer fun and truthful anymore. Every church you go to, always pulling tricks and stunts. And most of these fake men of God, their boldness is of really of demons. They have no conscience, they have no shame, and most of all, they have no fear to intimidate people and move people around. God is a God of order. Do you go to church because you want to, to be known by people or you want the pastor to recognize you? Just like every all the pastors, church members are not coming to church for us. Sharon makes a different noise when she's praising. Beverly makes a different noise when she's praising. They are all in the presence of God. And God cannot even tell me, a servant of God, everything he want, He plans. Because if God will do that, men will rule over men. It has been proven already in the past. But God keeps the honor, the order, and the glory to himself. We need to wake up, my brothers and sisters. This is why people are afraid of how the pastor looks at them and treats them. Instead of having a personal relationship with God. And now look at where we are. People don't have a personal relationship with God. They go to church because of somebody. But that somebody will never even make you inherit the kingdom of God. Will not be able to even guarantee you a space in heaven. My brothers and sisters. If this world is disturbing you. You need to seek Jesus. And when you find Jesus. You can be in the most loudest places. Praise and worship will never be disturbed. 
God sends people in the most uncomfortable territories. That's where we gospel. Children of God, go take the gospel. That the double-edged sword penetrating to break yokes and, and bringing peace again. Changing people's lives because of the love of Jesus and the light of Jesus in us. It's not what is happening to everybody. If you thought the video that is going viral is normal, something is wrong with you. And for the man to go on TV, this is why people who are rich, God did not make them great. He used to make poor men great because then he knew that they would save his spirit and he truth. After you make a mistake, because of your international connection, your wife and you call up somebody with a show. Grr, can we come on your show? And that host, host, a host of the show, she also just get case for herself. Yes, you go and show up on a TV and you start explaining. I've talked to that woman before. The fact that you have to sit that woman down and tell her that she's not allowed to do that is really sad. Because in this generation, you are telling the people that are making noise which you can all understand. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, to shut up. Who is more in danger, baby? The people who are screaming, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Or they allow people who speak fake evil tongues everywhere. This generation, something is wrong with you. If somebody is speaking tongues in a group, I agree. Stop them because you do not understand. And God says if there is nobody to interpret it, shut it down. But when somebody is screaming, thank you, Jesus, you could hear what that woman was screaming. That thing scare you, Pastor Kion. That thing irritate you. Me, that thing don't irritate me. Oh. It don't irritate me. What irritates me is when I sit in the midst of people and there is two or three, five people speaking in tongues. Everybody has their form, form of tongues. Some of them, Sharakata, Rebe Resete, Marakakaka, Ribokokoko, All of you, the tongues are even sayable in the mouth of a liar. That thing doesn't irritate you. Because that's what the Holy Spirit taught me as his apostle. That's the thing that made me... That's the only time God has ever made me shut somebody down. Tongues. Because you do not know what they, op they are opening and what they are bringing. From the, for the innocent people that are all joining together. Because when we join together in prayer and hands, when we say let's all pray. If Papa Rokafera says, yes, let's pray. If he's saying amen and if he says, yes, Lord, he's agreeing with me. So the people who agree with tongues, the tongues that you don't understand. He don't scare you, Pastor Kion. Even the same tongues, your own self, Pastor, you speak out of your mouth. Pastor Kion, if I ask you today, can you interpret the tongues that you speak? You go get vexed because you cannot even interpret the, the, the tongues that you speak. And that's the truth. Those things don't irritate you. Come on, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Make you stop church to go and tell a woman to hush. You just don't like that woman on a personal level. It's not spiritual. And that's why men of God, even me, God calls me out. My husband can be my witness here. Every time the devil wants me to take things personal instead of spiritual, God always reminds me. Your emotions will change. Your anger will go. The feelings will be different tomorrow. But the decisions you make out of this is going to catch up with you. Don't take things personal. And don't treat church members like they are personal garbage. Especially as a leader, as one that has been called to be an apostle in this generation by his will and purpose. Yes, a woman apostle. Looking like this, take it up with God. Go and ask him if I lie. He tells me to have order. We are supposed to move with humility. Not pride. Not boasting. Not showing off that you are carrying the church. Because church members... Don't submit to the church pastor or the church wife or any member. You are there to submit to God. Because the reason why the church is going wrong, sometimes the pastor even makes the praise and worship stop so he can speak a word because he feels it in his own idiotic spirit. But the Holy Spirit didn't say that. The worshiper was praising so fine that the Holy Ghost wanted her to still continue praising. But because you have pastors like Pastor Kion, they will shut it down. And that's why you, you, this generation... We've been calling God. Why are we not seeing God? As if it's a, it's a, 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 a contest. Who, As if who it's has a, the most anointing. Can you imagine? It's like a competition. Who has the most anointing? And if they are the honor, you know what is sad, Duff? It's the owners of the church that don't allow the anointing to move in the members. Yes, they want to carry the anointing for all the members, and every time the anointing is moving, it has to be controlled by them. A good servant of God embraces the anointing. Of their fellow brother and sister in Christ. I met Sharon. Before Sharon grew and understood anything.
today when I see Sharon, I embrace the anointing of God that Sharon has been filled by the power of the Holy Ghost. She carried the Holy Spirit and I've never been jealous. And I am so happy to see other people, not, not God sending people to me, but sending them to Sharon and Sharon doing the work of God. And if Sharon was on this life, she would tell you, when have I ever been jealous? The problem is that you don't want the anointing of God to move in the church members. It has to be a pastor carrying it. But me as the apostle of the Lord, the Lord told me I'm not the only one who is going to be anointed. And the only, the only way I will identify my father's children is I will have to see, I will feel the presence of God. He will make me discern it. I will discern. But this thing of not having discernment, this generation cannot see that Pastor Keon was out of order. And the fact that the man can go to a TV show, manipulative, the man should be on his knees asking for God. You people have no shame. You are celebrity lifestyles. You want to use the name of Jesus the way you, you live your celebrity lifestyles. God don't work like that. Stop shaming the name of God with your rubbish. Stop tenting the name of Jesus with your shenanigans. Prophetic has become tricks. If you want to know Jesus by yourself, brother William Lewire, hello my brother. If you want to know Jesus by yourself, go and seek him in spirit and in truth. Because whoever is going to introduce you to Jesus, they expect you to fear them like they are Jesus. Most of us leaders are not ready to let go of the flocks to go and minister to others so they can go and make disciples. We want to take disciples, collect them in a box, hide all of them and lock that box and everything they do we have sight on it it's like our disciples have to live in a box that if david does anything i have control over it i have power over it and people do not fear god they fear men that's why a lot of you say i am controversial no i'm not controversial it's because some of you fear only men of god you don't fear god may god bless all of you have a blessed day shalom